Hey everybody, Thrift Store Hacker back again, and today I'm working on uh, getting the uh, battery weight on the electric bike a little lower on the frame. I found an uh, old ammo box here at one of the uh, local junk stores, and it's almost the same size as the battery there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a, two of these, I'm going to put them low on the bicycle's frame, that way it uh, puts the weight lower and it doesn't feel like it's trying to shove me over every time I try to turn. But since this is a metal box, we got to figure out a way to insulate the terminals of this battery so nothing touches inside the box here and we get uh, electrical smoke and uh, magic. The box itself, it's an old 7.62 millimeter uh, cartridge box. And I've already cut and placed a small piece of uh, cardboard in there. We take the battery, and the battery will sit in there with a little room on each side left over. Uh, my main concern is when I close the lid, I don't want the terminals arcing together and possibly destroying the battery. So, pull this back down. Another thing you can do is take the top of the box off, which makes life a little easier. But we'll start with the battery. And I have just some bits of rubber. This is like rubberized drawer liner. Uh, you put it in your toolbox. Uh, this is just little cutoffs from after lining the toolbox. I figure what we could do with this is we make a couple of flaps here that will cover up the terminals on the battery. Look like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab some duct tape. Put a couple of pieces across the uh, across the top here, like so. Take that and put that right there. piece and put it right here. And that should, when I have everything hooked up, insulate everything so it doesn't have any chance of rubbing up against the box or anything and arcing. Now that we have that set up, we can put that in here. And we'll take a look. You notice there's a little bit of room right there and we're going to need room because when I bolt this to the side of the bike, there's going to be four bolt heads stick, uh, sitting in here, so I'm going to need a couple of millimeters of clearance there. So we just have to keep that in mind. I think I'm going to turn this, put it in like this. So this is going to be, this right here is going to be front of the bike, this is going to be the back of the bike. And I'd prefer if I need to open these container lids that they open from the back. Alright, and as you can see in there, there's a pretty good gap right there, which will allow us to uh, have a little bit of room in there. Now I cut some bits of foam, and we're just going to put those down on the side here. And this should keep the battery from shifting around while riding. Jam those in there and then use my, use my ruler to uh, get them in there nice and straight. See, we're pretty solid already there. Now, the next thing is with those bolt heads and stuff in there. I need to find something, I mean, you probably don't need this right here, but it'll be kind of a safety feature to keep it insulated. I'm just using an old piece of uh, acrylic from an old project. I can either do that or I can use cardboard. I just want to make sure this is up against the other end of the box nice and tight there. Alright. We can 
slide this in to provide some insulation that comes right up to the top of the box there so I didn't even have to recut that piece it was just perfect as I had it and then on the top here we already have the rubber covering that I'm going to add another piece of cardboard right here put our hinge back on and when we close this down Keep in mind that there's a gasket on these, and uh, scoot that over. there's a gasket on these, so these will stay nice and uh, watertight. And we can just put that down like that, and lock it in place. Now, if I pick this up, hold the handle here, pick this up and shake it, and you'll notice that that battery isn't moving in there at all, which is perfect. There's a little bit of cardboard on the, on the bottom, a little cardboard on the top, and the foam on the side, so if it does rattle around a bit, it'll be cushioned. The plastic won't be whacking into the metal. And then when we set this up to uh, power the bike, I'm probably going to drill some holes down in here, either on either side here. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do it yet. I drill some holes to get the two power wires to come out. And then they can go back up to the top of the bike rack and uh, connect to the battery that's going to be hooked on the other side of the bike. But this, just by itself, makes a great little portable 12 volt power supply. You could even uh, scoot the battery to one side so you have more room for electric bits, drill a hole here. You know, just gr uh, ground the negative out to the box, drill a hole here, and you put in like a car cigarette lighter and make yourself the, uh, the most massive cell phone or 12-volt charger that you uh, would want to carry around. But anywho, that's all I have for you today. Um, I have, still have to track down another one of these boxes. Um, these are actually getting kind of kind of tricky to find these days. When I went into the antique store that I found this one in, I got it for about like 7 bucks. Uh, he had a couple of other boxes that were uh, more like World War II era, and I was looking at those, and I was like, you know, I'm okay, because I know there's a lot of these still in circulation. I think there's still manufacturers that make them, but I was looking at those World War II ones, and I didn't buy it because I did not want to cut it up for this project, because, I don't know, I feel it would be kind of wrong. They're almost historical now. But, anywho, until next time, build stuff and have fun.